today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the Titan Clockman and Toilet Tower Defense. So here we are on Toilet Tower Defense. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this new Titan Clockman um, in the game right now. It's just been added, guys. And as you can see, I own this unit right now. I'm going to be showing you guys how to go in, um, well, what this unit is, what it does, all the upgrades, guys, and if it's actually worth it at the end. So make sure you guys do watch all the way up to the end to get my opinion on if this unit is worth it guys but i guess without further ado let's get into it now but if you are ever in need of robux and have a computer go ahead and check out rbx idle this program allows you to earn robux gift cards and more with simply a computer this program has over a hundred thousand downloads and has already given out millions of robux to a lot of players all you have to do is go to the website and click on the download button or you can follow how i'm doing it on screen you can earn with any computer and there is tons of ways to get prizes such as robux gift cards steam discord night you can level up for rewards or win prizes in gold rush giveaways once you have the program ready and downloaded you guys can click on start earning and this will make your computer do the work completely for you to get started head to rbxidle.com or click on the link down below in the description and pinned comment so pretty much guys in order to go and test this i think what we'll go ahead and do um we'll go ahead and jump on into like a hard mode with someone we don't want to make it too hard but um yeah let's hopefully i'm gonna get a squad guys with me right now and I'll see if we can go ahead and jump on into a match. I'll meet you guys back once we're in a game. Okay, guys, even though I, I said I wasn't going to do endless, here we are. We're in endless mode. So, pretty much, um, we have the Titan Clock Man over here. This one costs 2,000 to go in and place down. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit to place down over here, guys. I'm going to place down an elf camera woman over here so we can get this thing going. Um, but, yeah, right now, um, I'd recommend, guys, first of all, if you are wanting to play with this Titan Clock Man, if you don't have any of like them farming units and stuff that give you cash i recommend to go in and get yourself some other people to play with because by yourself solo it is a little um it is a little hard to go ahead and get one of these placed down and fully upgraded i did try it on hard mode guys and honestly it is a bit hard because i'll tell you guys why in a second but um yeah definitely I'd say to get the most use out of this thing, you're probably going to want to play for some other people. It might not be the best for solo only, or at least that is until very, very late game. Early game, guys, you can't really place this thing down because even if you do have the money to, it's probably better placed in other units. And that's because, guys, when you first place this thing down, it's really, really high damage. There's like 5,000 damage, 20 range, and two seconds per attack so yeah definitely an early game it's not really the best so if you are playing solo with this thing i would go ahead and just wait until the later waves before you do place this down luckily enough though i do have this person that's helping me out over here that is um getting through quite a few of these toilets over here so i don't even need to place anything down to be honest and um they're just pretty much sorting everything out over here which is really really nice because i can pretty much just farm up all my cash right now um to place one of these down so i'm just gonna tell this person that i'm saving to put it down um 2k right yeah so so far guys this is of course going to be quite an expensive unit like the titans are they are pretty expensive um so i think what i'll go ahead and do guys i might wait um, and meet you guys back once this thing's placed actually to be fair it won't take us too long we might even be able to do it the next wave guys which is nice especially because we're not having to upgrade anything over here now i think guys um once this thing is fully upgraded and placed down i think it's going to be pretty overpowered so um yeah and remember right at the end of the video i will tell you guys if it is worth it now to be fair i think we'll get these oh okay um if not i'll just place down another one of these elves down at the back over there guys i think we'll be fine unless that person wants to do actually we do have a few of these um santa tv men over here guys which are going to give us some extra income yeah i'll just actually yeah never mind they've just went ahead and placed on another one of those over there which is handy um so nice we can just save up for one of these i think what i'll probably do i might place it down over here you know i'm probably going to place it down somewhere around here to be honest guys because that's probably going to get the most range once it's fully upgraded um, fully upgraded i guess so yeah we'll go ahead and wait for that I, I reckon um before we do anything or maybe place down like over here or something and when it's fully upgraded then i'm not sure we'll have to wait and see guys but you know what i think i am going to place it down here we pretty much nearly can right now um right let's go ahead and yeah place this thing down here one right boom there we go so as you can see here it is guys the titan clock man it's placed down so pretty much um damage 5000 range 20 and cooldown is two and it costs 2500 to upgrade it when you guys do upgrade it you'll go for from 5000 damage to 7.5k 20 range to 40 and from two 
um, cooldown to one, which makes a big, big difference, guys. Even though it's not like a massive change in damage, that cooldown does make a massive difference. So we're going to have to wait until we can afford to um, get that cooldown, guys. But the good thing about this thing, if you guys do have a lot of other units, it's really, really good for clearing out the high um, health ones over here, guys, the high health toilets. So, yep. The good thing is as well, we do have these getting cleared out at the moment too. But yeah, like I said, first upgrade, it's not really the best, guys. It's only really going to get good after the final few upgrades. Unlike a few Titans, like for example, this one over here, this upgrade, the Titan one. I mean, this one's probably this one's probably better than this Titan Clockman at the moment, just because uh, it's of course got a better cooldown damage and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, guys, right. Okay, so we're nearly able to upgrade this thing again, which is going to massively increase our range, which is pretty nice. So yeah, we'll have to hopefully be able to upgrade this before these things get around here because we might need a bit of support around there i mean how much health do these have yeah once we do get this upgraded we're going to be able to absolutely destroy these things the question is though can we get it upgraded before they get around i'm not sure we probably can though guys so we are going to be able to buy the second upgrade boom there you go as you can see we now have the second upgrade and that has went ahead and boosted our damage to 7.5k our range to 40 and our cooldown now to one and as you can see we have an extra circle over here guys this is the 40 range circle right now which is looking pretty cool so yeah that is pretty much um so for the second upgrade now to upgrade it again we need 4,000. so it's going to be a bit more expensive again to upgrade this thing this is quite an expensive unit to be honest guys <laughs> definitely not a one that you're going to be placing down for for a cheap amount now um yeah honestly i think we're going to be fine to destroy the rest of these things over here guys we're gonna fly through these waves i'm pretty sure now i'm not too sure if this is going to be one of the better titans in the game i mean that's kind of um for you guys to just um i guess see from this video kind of depends how you guys like to play i guess if you like to play with high damage but low cooldown things maybe this might be the one or if you guys prefer to play with pretty low damage but high um well very very like low cooldown like 0.1 second and stuff maybe this one might not be the one to go for i'm not sure we'll have to see what it is though once we have the next few upgrades now um we are going to pretty much have to double our cash before we can get there so yeah we will have to wait a little while but it, hopefully it shouldn't be too long guys because we are kind of destroying these minigun toilets at the moment they're, they're being absolutely deleted um, i'm just going to skip past this wave guys i think we'll be able to do that fine um right okay we're nearly there. Once we get rid of these minigun toilets, we should be good to go. Now, I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, as you can see, guys, he just fired his gun. So, that is that, like, range thing over here. And this gun actually does splash damage, which is the good thing about this unit. Um, which is pretty cool, guys. So as you can see, it is doing splash damage right now. He's actually shooting the gun, too, in this range. Um, I didn't actually see that happen then earlier. So, as you can see, he does damage to all units nearby as well, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Now, we are nearly a thousand away from our next upgrade which will help us out a lot once we can get that and that's gonna help us do even more damage guys get a bit more range too i think that next upgrade is gonna give him a second gun which is gonna be quite nice actually never mind on this fully rendered image over here i don't think he gets a second gun but you know um so far this second upgrade should be pretty decent i mean we do have this mutant toilet getting past, but I don't think he's going to survive for long, especially when we have this thing upgraded, guys, because it's going to go from 7.5k damage to 12.5k, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Now, um, let's see. Yeah, we are absolutely melting through these guys. As you can see, the mutant toilet health is dropping super fast due to these um, attacks right now, guys. So we're nearly there. We're less than uh, 200 away from being able to upgrade this thing again. Um, and we'll have to see how good it is this next upgrade. So what is this? Minus 5% cooldown. Okay, never mind. That's a booster unit. And honestly, guys, that does make this thing even better. What I'd honestly recommend, I think the player to go with this thing is probably getting yourself a booster unit next to it that'll reduce its cooldown because honestly guys if you do that these things get op so as you can see here guys um this is now 12.5k damage 45 range and it would be one cooldown but of course we have the booster units so that's just i guess helped us reduce the cooldown even further now at 0.8 cooldown guys and that's how you make this thing pretty overpowered so honestly guys by itself it might not be too good um because of the high damage um but low attack speed but if you guys put a booster unit next to it and upgrade that thing it honestly will make it a lot better so the next upgrade is six 
thousand, which is quite a bit, guys. That upgrade note then uh, does not reduce the cooldown either. So it looks like, guys, we don't. This unit is just going to be quite a slow but high damage unit, guys. So that's pretty much what it seems this unit is going to be. Unless the final few upgrades make it absolutely overpowered, I'm not too sure. But so far, that's what I'm kind of seeing it from this thing right now guys but it is kind of melting things right now especially when they do get close into the range over here as you can see guys these things are getting absolutely annihilated um now 6k cash it's gonna take us a little while to farm up for that guys um but while we are farming up for that i'm gonna name what i would probably say is the ideal loadout if you guys want to include this titan um clock man and that loadout would be one of these farming units, guys, because honestly, with this thing, it is, as you can already tell, extremely, extremely expensive. You guys are going to want to get some of these farming units in order to get yourself a bit more cash a bit quicker. The second thing, guys, if possible, go and get yourself a booster unit. Um, the ones that especially do reduce the cooldown boost because that'll make it higher attack speed, guys, with, of course, the high damage already, which makes it even more overpowered. So that's the second thing that I'd do. Now, you have two other slots, guys, and I'll just go ahead and fill those slots with pretty inexpensive but high fire rate, um, like things such as the elf camera woman or maybe like the turkey cameraman i do quite like them in this guys because they're quite cheap but also do high damage per second once they're fully upgraded that's probably going to be your ideal loadout with one of these things in my personal opinion if you guys think you have a better loadout um for this just let us all know in the comments down below but i'll probably meet you guys back once this thing um once we can upgrade it again okay guys we're nearly there we're about 500 cash away from being able to upgrade this thing again um but as you can tell guys these things are pretty um pretty expensive so yeah we are here we're gonna be here a little while in order to upgrade this thing to max but anyway guys um i i think there must be like four or five upgrades guys i'm not sure there must be like five upgrades to be honest with for this thing or maybe like six or maybe there's more i'm not too sure i mean if there is guys this thing is going to be extremely very well extremely expensive um we might just skip past this wave guys i reckon yeah we'll skip this wave um right okay we're nearly there 200 cash away from being able to upgrade it again guys these things are being absolutely destroyed let's see here guys right here we go let's upgrade it 6k so pretty much guys um now we have got to 17.5k deep damage 50 range now about this guys this would be one cooldown without the minus 20 percent from the booster unit but if we upgrade it guys we go ahead and get to 0.5 cooldown but it does reduce our damage but honestly guys that is extremely extremely overpowered now that upgrade costs 7.5k so pretty much guys it seems like what this thing might be it might be a really high damage but low fire rate at the start but once it's fully upgraded guys it might be still high damage but ultra low um cooldown now i think if i can well if i do upgrade that guys it's going to be 15,000 damage which is still extremely good like minus 2.5k is barely anything but half in the cooldown is really really overpowered and with this booster unit guys it will be 0.3 cooldown for this thing um which is gonna be absolutely crazy guys because that is like one of the fastest fight well it's not one of the fastest but it is extremely fast fire rate um and for the damage that it's doing that is pretty op so yeah um it's gonna take of course a little while to save up for that because of this thing is really really expensive but again i'll meet you back once we do have enough for that i guess guys now unfortunately guys we did actually die there but as you can see it is pretty um pretty good this one what i might go ahead and do i might quickly jump on like an easy mode guys and just get this thing fully upgraded i'll meet you guys back once we are now also guys this thing actually has this really really cool ability i don't know um how but this wasn't there before it pretty much has this time stop ability guys which completely stops like everything in its tracks which is kind of um op now um yeah that um as you can see guys it's got like well it's right underneath my arm over here if i move across as you can see it's just over there it's got a five minute um cooldown guys but um yeah honestly it is pretty that that's pretty overpowered to be fair it just completely stops everything for like i don't know 20 seconds or something so yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting to go ahead and get this thing fully upgraded back again but um yeah i'll meet you guys back once it is okay guys for some strange reason this time stop things come again as you can see i need to keep on moving them out of the way as you can see guys we can use that again for some reason it wasn't there my first one unless they've just like forgot to drop that in the update but honestly this changes things guys this makes this thing honestly super super overpowered because you can pretty much just stop things 
for like 20 seconds or something i don't know if it gets stronger and stronger every single time you upgrade this thing but honestly guys that time stop ability alone makes this thing really really good honestly guys so far from what i see this thing could on i think it's quite worth it to be honest guys for 699 robux now um if you guys do want me to give away one of these two you guys all you need to do to enter into this giveaway like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below your roblox username three simple steps you need to take to enter why not guys it's completely free to do so and i will give um away a few of these titan clockmans um in the video i'm um, in the game today guys so make sure i guess you do end of that um giveaway right now but yeah we'll have to see how like if the time stop ability gets stronger and stronger as we upgrade the thing guys but yeah again i'm gonna have to meet you back once we do have this thing upgraded unfortunately i did lose my last match guys so um yep yeah, but again i'll meet you back once we have this thing upgraded yeah guys just use the time spot stop ability and as you can see here guys it stopped it for like quite well i mean pretty much just stopped that boss in its tracks and just destroyed it guys otherwise it would have got past so honestly this is such an overpowered ability for stopping things getting past i highly recommend to use it guys and honestly that does make this thing a whole lot better like on top of already it becoming quite overpowered once it's fully upgraded that ability alone is super op guys like if we just had a unit that just done that that would be op in itself to have that in the titan guys it is really really good okay guys so in this endless mode that i'm in right now i have another person that's got this titan clock man over here which honestly together in like kind of like this format one over here and one here does make it really really overpowered now this per honestly guys you really want these sun um well not necessarily these but like one of the farming income units guys because they'll just allow you to upgrade this thing a lot faster otherwise you're pretty much going to be it's going to take you a little while to upgrade it just how it is for me so yeah i definitely would recommend that also guys another really good thing that i've recommend to use with this is the green laser cameraman um and pretty much you guys well because these of course slow things down nearby it means especially when they get in the overlap like within these two in this area over here it does make it really, really overpowered because they get more time to like hit things in there so that's a little tip from me guys if you have some green laser camera man and men then definitely i'd recommend to go in and use a few of those in combination with the titan clock man and also a um like an income unit guys because honestly it makes a big big difference now um i will again meet you back once i hopefully have another new upgrade on this titan clock man which will be the upgrade after the next one i'm pretty sure um or be the one after that i'm not too sure guys but i'll meet you back when i have another upgrade so guys this person got it level five as you can see right now guys i'm gonna quickly grab a screenshot of that and it's got damage of 15k range 50 cooldown 0.5 now if it's upgraded guys then it goes to um well, a lot more damage it gets an extra 10k damage and also an extra 10 range which is pretty cool that might be the final upgrade guys i'm pretty sure um so yeah i think that might be yeah i think that's the final upgrade guys level six over there um and unfortunately guys one of the people left but yeah we're pretty much dead right now that's pretty much guys the titan clock man for you all in the game which is pretty cool to be honest quite a cool one especially the time stop ability it's really really op um yeah guys i think that's probably gonna be it for the video here inside of Todd at Todd offense i guess guys like and subscribe for more